Jesus explains. Witchcraft, curses and voodoo. You've lost your freedom and I am your only way out. December 25th, 2016. Words from Jesus through Sister Claire. Spoken by Jackie. Jesus began. This is a lesson in spiritual warfare, my people. You may be enticed to dabble in curses and see what you can do. It seems harmless at first, almost fun. The demons entice you. Come on, you have great powers here. Try this, you will see how powerful you really are. That Christian isn't powerful. She's a weakling and afraid of her own shadow. But you have real potential. You are especially endowed with powers. Come on, try it. And those at the witchcraft jobs will also encourage you and sell you dolls, candles and books and tell you to begin to learn these ways. Why should you put up with others doing you wrong? You can get even and make them suffer for their unfairness to you. And so you begin this new journey as an adventure, thinking you are going to conquer and retaliate and make others suffer for what you perceive as unjust. You have bought into it. Soon the demons are courting you and showing you results, telling you all the things your powers have done to others to make them suffer. Soon you are seeing visions of swords piercing and poisoning and making your enemies sick. You're quickly growing in confidence and boldness as you begin to move in this direction. Other forces are attracted to you. Others who also have a case against the ones you are cursing. They see how inexperienced you are and begin to court your favor with flatteries and channel their wicked powers through you as the focal point. The rush from the power at first makes you intoxicated and heady. But then, a certain fear sets in. What is happening to me? This is going too far, too soon. I'm afraid. I feel scared. I'm beginning to fear these forces and powers. They're bigger than I am. But now you are locked in and cannot get out. You overstepped a boundary and have been captured. Your soul begins to shrink back and hide in a corner, cowering. But you keep up the front that you are powerful. You are now being pulled under by these forces and there is only one escape. But you can't appeal to him because those you hate have appealed to him and you won't lower yourself to ask for his help and do the same. It is all a lie, dear soul, a big lie. You have lost your freedom and I am your only way out. Do not delay. Call on me in the day of trouble and I will deliver you. In spite of your sins, I will deliver you. I will forgive you. I will give you new life and a future worth living for. You have nothing to lose and everything to gain. But if you refuse to respond to my call of love, I have no choice but to release you to the will of your enemies. And you have many who have issues with you, who have gone to Curanderas and had curses placed on you. I've held back much harm from your life, but now you must decide. Am I to cover, deliver and protect you? Or have you chosen to break free from me and go your own way? Please consider these options when you feel free from arrogance and vengeance. You are not thinking clearly if these influences are controlling you. Ask me to help you think clearly. Please ask me. I will help you make a clear decision and I will be there for you 
if you choose to repent and call on my name.